Hey there, it's Laurence Bradford from Learn to Code with me. And today I'm going to be telling you about one of my favorite tools that helps me blog and just organize my life. And it's called Kanban Flow or Kanban. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce it, but I use this tool day in and day out. So let me give you a quick little overview. Okay, so here we are in a new browser. I actually have my Kanban Flow board uh, bookmarked to the top of my screen. That's how much I use it. It's right up there in the front. So basically, just a quick overview. Uh, this is something that, it's a predict productivity tracker, and it's a great way to organize your days and your weeks. And the way you do that is you create these boards. So I have three, my basic board, which is just kind of everything. Uh, this is my learn to code with me uh, board, which is just all relates to the blog. And then this is a project that I'm working on with someone else and we actually uh, collaborate on this board. So you can organize these columns any way you want. You can actually hide them as well if you click that. And the way you start a new board, right here, create new board. So we'll do test board. Okay, next. This is where you do the, the columns, right? To do, do today, in progress, done. You can add as many as you want. You can have only one or two, whatever works for you. Uh, I'm going to do just to do, in progress, and done. And then this is how you would add people to it. We can reorder them and then say if I wanted to user administration, invite user, right? And then I would just type in the email address and I would email them that way. Okay. So basically, I'll just put a huge list of to-dos of everything, just ideas I have, whatever. So let's, let me think of an idea. Let's see, write new blog post about SAS. SAS is uh, a CSS extension language. And I, I've been learning it lately with a new project I'm doing. Here you can write a description. So say, I, I a lot of times take notes here. You can add labels. I don't really do that feature. Um, responsible, that would be if you have multiple people. I could change the color. I could put a due date, so say, you know, the 31st at 11 in the morning, done, add. Okay, and I always use subtasks. So I'll put like, get feature image, right, for say the blog post, um, edit, copy, share on social media, and so on and so forth. So when I have it in progress and see how it shows the due date and you can easily hide this by clicking that button or the subtask by clicking that button. And as I move along through a project, you know, I check, I check the boxes and then once it's complete, I move it over to the done column. And what's so good about um, what the due dates, when they see you have something due, they'll actually email you in advance and be like, oh, hey, you have something due in less than 24 hours, you know, make sure it gets done. So I put like my entire life in Kanban flow. As I said, I have all these different boards. Uh, see, with this one, I have a, my Learn to Code with me, I have a blog post schedule, right? So I have all these ideas just kind of written down, then my to do list. My do today, these are kind of, you know, I should almost even just condense those two, the to do and do today, because it's sort of the same thing. My in progress is very important. Here are all my subtasks, as you can see, with the due date and then the done column. But my all time favorite thing, go back to the test board, is the Pomodoro timer, which you cannot see right now because I'm bored. So I use this all the time. You, have, you select task, so okay, only task, start work. And it times you for 25 minutes. And then you take a break for five minutes and you know the alarm goes off and then it times your break and then you start again after five minutes. And then 
you know, you do the same cycle again, and after three, it then gives you a 15 minute break. So I love this for um, like projects that I'm working on, like web design or building a website for someone, especially, you know, when I'm paid hourly, I just track myself on here. And if I have to stop, stop. And then you, you're supposed to give your reason for your work log. So I added some of these, like my mother, if my mom interrupts me, or these are come with the package of web browsing. And it gives you your statistics. This isn't very good because, you know, work log, settings. Let's go to this one. I'm trying to think of when that would be good. No, that doesn't like me. Email. Let's do the emails one. That's going to be good. Actually, let's see. Work log. So see, this just shows me. I, I never look at this stuff, really. Oh, it says see when I stop. But I guess that could be helpful for some people. I use it just to, again, track work and whatnot. All right. Anyway, so yeah, this is one of my tools. I have a lot of other tools that I use to help me blog, and I actually made this really awesome list. And there's like over 25 things in the list, and it it's just all my favorite tools from things like uh, Kanban Flow to design-related, uh, font-related, social media, writing, marketing, just everything. And I'm going to put the link below so you can get that. And yeah, I'm going to talk about a few of the other things that I really like in other videos. But definitely check this one out, uh, Kanban Flow. If you just go to the website, it's right.com. They're probably going to take me, yeah, right to one of my boards. But it's free to sign up, by the way. The timer's awesome. And I prefer this to Trello. I just love the timer so much. And Trello, and nothing that I've looked at has a timer. Like, I looked at Lean Kit, and I looked at a few other ones. And this is the only one. All right, thank you.